Hi, my name is Kevin Levan, and today I'm going to be discussing the summary report of the NextGene Viewer. For those of you familiar with NextGene, you might know that there's several reporting options available, including mutation report, expression report, coverage curves, lots of different reports available to you. And what uh, the summary report is capable of doing is bringing all those reports into a single report that can be saved as a PDF. So some of the new features that you'll notice is in the reports menu, you'll see the summary report option, as well as another button here in the toolbar that says mutation report currently. If I just click on that, it'll bring up the summary report. So the summary report can contain many different reports all in one. It also includes a header section, which is shown at the top, and it has a default section which can show the version number of NextGene that was used, the date that it was run, what version of the viewer was used to open the project. And it also contains a custom header section, which you can customize to include whatever information you want, including maybe the analyst or the a comment section. And to edit this custom section, you would just click on this Edit Header button, and that's where you can add your own custom information. Just by clicking on the right mouse button, you can delete rows, add rows, and then load and save these. Below the header section is a statistics section, which is, uh, includes a lot of information about the run, including exactly what sample files were used, what reference was used, some information about the run times, and then statistics about the analysis including how many reads were aligned, uh, how many mismatches were found. And then the other reports, which can be enabled or hidden by clicking on these buttons, are below this. And the first report that I have showing is a mutation report that's been named to show reported hotspots. So in this case, this data set only had a single hotspot mutation, and you can show whatever information you want about that. It's very customizable, just like any of the uh, mutation reports that you may have worked with. Another report that I am showing is a coverage curve report. The coverage curve report identifies the percentage of coverage for your target region. It shows you lots of other statistics like total number of reads on target. And this one is configured to show you how many, uh, what percentage of my target was above a thousand X coverage. For any region that does not meet these thresholds, a table is shown below this showing you exactly the positions that did not meet the specified coverage. Going down is another report called the expression report and this identifies for you every target region and some statistics about it. That's another report that can be included in here. And then you can see here I have a second mutation report for the entire target region not just hot spots. And here I'm showing a header section for the report as well as the actual report, which again, they can be shown or hidden just by clicking on these buttons. So it's very easy to configure these reports. Within the summary report, you can click on the settings button. You can choose exactly what reports you want to include in the summary. You can include the path to a file that includes the name of, of exactly the settings you want to use. And to actually choose those settings files, all you do is click on the set button, click on the actual settings configuration file that you want to use, and click open. If you don't have a set of settings that you want to use, then just click on the edit button. That opens up the settings dialog for the particular report that you had selected. Then you can go in and 
customize exact, exactly what settings you'd like to use. And you even have a summary report tab here where you can give the report a name and choose which, se which sections of the report you'd like to show in the summary report. You can then save those settings, click OK, and then when you click OK, it'll open up that new settings in the, in the summary report. So the summary report, if you click on any of the mutation calls, for instance, in the mutation reports, it'll jump to that location in your data set so you can see the pile up. So everything is, is hyperlinked to make things very easy to, to navigate. I mentioned that you can show and hide many sections just by clicking on the buttons in the header for each section. And another nice feature about this is that you can save it as a PDF just by clicking on this PDF button here. So the summary report can be configured after you've already done an analysis through the viewer, like I've just shown here, or you can set it up prior to your analysis. So when you're setting up a run in a project wizard, you just choose all of your normal configuration settings, and then on the post-processing step, you can choose which reports you want to have automatically generated. So these reports will automatically be made and they will automatically be added to your summary report. So again, this is just a, a review of how you can use NextGene to create a summary report to include many different sections including statistics, uh, mutation calls, quality information, all in one report that can be saved as a PDF. Thank you for your time.